best time to walleye fish the rivers is fall, starting around mid to late October. So that's what I'm here to do at one of the local dams. This is my first trip out of the fall. It's about mid-October, and I was inspired to get out here for the first time because last time I was musky fishing a couple of days ago, instead of a musky, we caught a trophy walleye. So check that out real quick. We're in five right here. And like weeds underneath us that you can't see, they aren't coming up to the top. We got one. Real. Oh shit, you do. I got some. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Bro, come on. To me. To me. Come on. Max, don't get skunk, baby. Max. Oh my god, it's a fing walleye. Is it? Holy oh, shit. Pack it. Alright, alright, hold on. Holy shit, that's a big walleye, baby! What? <laughs> oh my what the god! It's on the bucktail. Oh, look at the head on this boy. Dude, that is a fucking walleye. That is a monster on the bucktail. Never throw a walleye, though. Let me see. Oh my god. I thought he was 28. There you go. Look at the head on him. You got him? Just picked up big old walleye. On the Chaos Tackle uh, Esox Assault single eight or single nine. Beautiful walleye. We thought it was a muskie, but look at the chompers on him. Yeah. Woo, that's when you get giant walleye when you're muskie fishing. Let's go. Beauty. Not, not, not exactly what I wanted, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get one here, but that's a monster. So that was pretty cool. No muskies that day, but got that fish. And so that got me thinking I should probably get out and start trying for some walleye. So here I'm gonna start with, before the sun goes down, I'm gonna start with a jerk bait. Maybe get a bass or maybe a stray walleye before, I mean, they really should start feeding once the sun starts to go down, but you never know exactly. I don't remember this, is it hydrilla? I don't remember this weed being here must be a new a new invasive addition haven't been here in a while oh geez they were feeding ah. Got him. <sighs> little pack of smallies right here. Little, little baby juniors. There was a bigger one I saw. They're schooling up. Taking out minnows. They're exposed as the weeds die off. Got one. Yeah. What's that with just a grub? <laughs> He's swim bait. Ah! Well pun. <laughs> huh? Wait till we get to the base camp. Oh, 
that's a better fish. A little nicer. Yeah. Blast. That would have been nice. He just wants to jump. He doesn't want to fight. Now he's fighting a little bit. Dude, Blastoise. This, this one was a couple of shoes. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Every fish started out very small. <laughs> now they're finally like 12 inches or something. Whew. And while I should come in, I'm, I'm back to a switch over to a yellow swim bait, four inch swim bait. One of the advantages of night fishing is uh, finesse and being sneaky doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, in terms of like line shy and everything. So I actually use an 80 pound liter fluorocarbon. And the only reason I do that is on the off chance that when you're walleye fishing at night, you get a muskie, which doesn't happen that often, but sometimes it happens. And if that happens, I want to catch them. I prefer it, sir. Well, I've got like uh, this bright um, x wrap right here. Yeah, there, perfect. Okay, Johnny wants a bright jerk bait. Why not? No idea. Here, take this as collateral. Okay. And we are at our Ooh, official spot. Nice. And and we got our first walleye. And we may have had another one hooked up. So I'm going to go with the chartreuse swim bait. Johnny's going with a bright colored jerk bait. And we are commencing the walleye fishing. Got one. That was a good hit. Got one. Ooh, this is bigger. First respectable walleye. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. Johnny, check out this bad boy out. You got one too? No. Got this guy. Woo! Oh yeah. That's a unit. Ugh. All right, walleye number one for me. Nice size. It's a legal fish anyway. Huh? No weights in this fish. Here we go. We'll put them down right here. Healthy release. Healthy release on the swim bait. All right, number two. I saw one uh, take a bait off the surface. I cast it right over top of him, and there he was. Number two for me third walleye for us fifth fish or something slim bait again got one come on temporary low another good pretty good pretty decent so i was just telling john that he wants to move but i said we want to be in the dam lights in the lights of the lock before the moon rises because these fish do as good as well I can see with the water clarity the way it is I think they do need a little help so we're here in the shadow of those lights over there um, and if we go behind this island that we're standing on we won't have that anymore so I want to wait till the moon's up before we do that so swim bait still producing number three for me I think it's just a tad early yet to really get um, good numbers of walleyes I think is a Weeds start to die off and the shiners that are there uh, continue to get picked off and the bait dwindles, the, there'll be more, a lot more. That's when you start to get, I think, like 10, 20 fish days or more and get some bigger ones too. But I just wanted to get out since we caught that big one. It's probably a week or so too early to, to really get going. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.